everyone this is yamin and welcome to laravel hospital management system project tutorial now in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create a registration and login for both user and the admin so for this uh, for creating registration and login we are going to use laravel jest team we are going to use those command you can see uh, you can see over here some command uh, after this uh, this command at the fifth step we will make some changes in our table and the last command will be PC partition migrate so let's get started so first of all we will go to our project directory again and we will go to hospital and over here we are going to open another cmd and here you can see here our first command will be composer require laravel slash jstream so let me just write it over here composer require laravel slash jstream and if you press enter it will uh, install the require file so it will take like five minutes so you can see that all the necessary package is uh, installed now we need to write our second command which is this one psp artisan jstream clone install library so i am going to say over here php artisan jstream then this clone will say install library live w i r and if we press enter it will again uh, install some necessary files so here you can see library is also installed now uh, here you can see please execute npm install and npm run dev over here so if you go to our notepad you can see over here uh, our command npm install and then npm run dev so now we are going to say npm install and press enter it will take like five minutes to install it after npm install we will say npm run dev npm run dev and we press enter now this command will take like 10 minutes to install npm run dev is also done now if you go to our notepad here you can see our fifth step is uh, changes in the table so let's go back to our code and uh, here you can see uh, now we'll directly go to database and inside database migration and inside migration you can see a lot of table over here we'll directly go to our user table which is this one so here you can see uh, we have a name email and password and some other field so we are going to add three more field over here so let me just copy one of them Control C. So after email, uh, we'll have user phone number, address, and the user type. User type means it will be uh, regular user or admin. So let's just first give phone number. Let's say just phone, and let's say it will be nullable. So we'll give this arrow sign. We'll say nullable, and uh, let me just copy this nullable. Control C and paste it over here. Now after phone, we'll have address, and after address, we'll have uh, let's say user type and let's say its default value will be zero its default value will be zero let's say zero means uh, we'll consider zero means regular user and on means admin so let's save it control s now our now our fifth step will be php partition migrate this command so let's go back to our command prompt and we'll say php artisan migrate and if we press enter it will migrate all the table in our database so here you can see all the table is migrated now if we go to our database let me just uh, refresh over here and here you can see our hospital table uh, if we click plus here you can see we have a, a lot of table inside this database and if you go inside the user table you can see name email phone address user type and every other data over here so now let me just also also show you one more thing if we refresh over here we'll see a login and registration option over here so here you can see login and register option so if you click register you can see name email and password field over here so we are going to add two more field over here which will be phone and address so for making changes over here we need to go back to our code and then we have to go to resource and inside resource views and inside views you can see a auth folder over here then inside auth you can see login and register so we will directly go to register.blade.php and if you go down uh, you can see over here email and password field and name field so let me just copy this one this name field control c and i'll paste it over here two times control v now this time instead of name we'll say phone so let me just select everywhere you just need to click control and if you just right click uh, everywhere it will automatically select 
so now we will be able to change every name at once we will say our here phone this name equal to phone so after phone we will have address so let me just select again control and just left click on them and we will say here address so if you save it now and if we refresh here we can see we have two more field right now phone and address now we also need to make some changes so that we can send phone and address in our database so for it so now we need to go to app then action and inside action you can see fortify and here you can see create new user.php so over here uh, laravel actually create the user and here you can see some input field name email and password so we are going to add phone and address over here so let me just copy this one Control c and i'll paste it two time so instead of email we'll say phone phone and inside this input we'll say phone let me just explain now this phone this variable is actually coming from register.bread.php here you can see our name equal to phone and uh, in this phone is actually coming from the database uh, here you can see phone so this phone is actually this one so after phone we have address and address so let me say address again so let's save it now control s now we need to go inside app then models here you can see models and inside model we have user.php so we need to add we have, so we only have name email and password field over here so we will add phone and address field here as well so if you don't give it uh, it will create some problem so control v control v so we will say here phone and address and let's save it now control s and let me just refresh here and let's keep the name let's say name equal to user and email equal to user at the right of gmail.com let's keep a phone number and let's give a address let's say and let's get a password and if you click register it will register our account so here you can see we are now in our dashboard now if you go to our database and if you just refresh here you can see we have a name email then user address and our user type is zero by default and which we mentioned uh, over here you can see by default its value will be zero so let me just uh, log out from here and log in again and register again for admin so if you click register then we'll say here admin then email will be admin at right of gmail.com let's keep a phone number and address let's say random things let's give the password and if you click register uh, here you can see the dashboard now we are going to make some changes in the database so let me just refresh now so here you can see user type is by default zero for admin as well so now we'll click edit and instead of uh, user type zero we'll say user type on so now we'll go down and here you can see go option we'll click go so now here you can see that the user type is changed to on so now let's go back to our code again now we are going to make some changes in our code so that if the user login then it will take us to user dashboard and if the admin login then it will take us to admin dashboard so for it we will go to app then inside app we will have providers if you click providers you can see over here route service providers just click on it and then here you can see public const home equal to dashboard so instead of dashboard let's say we will say here home you can say anything you can say redirect or anything you want so we will just say home then uh, we will go to our web.php routes then web.php and we will create this uh, route in the web.php so here uh, we are just going to create another route so we will say route then this double clone then first bracket and inside to double quotation we will say slash home then we will give a comma to third bracket and inside it we will say home controller then double clone we will say class then we have to give a comma and after this we will give a two single quotation and we need to mention the function name and we will say here function name will be redirect let's say 
so let's save it now we also don't have this home controller so we need to create this home controller so for it let's go back to our command prompt again and for creating a controller we just need to say php artisan make then this clone controller then we we'll say home controller and if we press enter it will create a controller okay it's giving me an error uh, okay here you can see route okay we have to, we need to write over here get so we'll say here get and i also forgot to give a semicolon over here so let's save it now control s now let's go back to our command prompt and let me say over here again psp addition make colon controller home controller and if we press enter you can see here controller created successfully the message and if you go to our controller if you go to app then http then controllers here you can see home controller.php now we also need to mention this home controller in our web.php at the top so at the top we need to say use app backslash http then backslash controllers backslash it will be home controller so let's save it now control s now we'll go to our home controller and create this redirect function so let's go to home controller.php and here we are going to say public function redirect and inside it we'll give two second bracket and here we are going to first check if there is any auth id so first uh, we'll give a if condition then we'll say auth double clone will say id so if there is any auth id then we are, we'll have this condition and let's also write a else condition else and and inside else we'll just say return return redirect then to first bracket this arrow sign will say return redirect back so uh, over here inside this if condition if there is any auth id it means there is if there is any user trying to log in but then we'll check what is their user type i mean here if you go to database here you can see we have the user type zero for regular user and on for admin so we'll first check uh, their user type so we'll say now inside this if condition we are going to say auth then double clone will say user which is our table name then we'll give two first bracket then we'll give this arrow sign then we'll say user type which is our column name and we'll say if this equal equal let's say if this equal equal on then it will take us to this dashboard let's say return let's say return view and inside it we'll say dashboard and uh, this dashboard is actually uh, is actually if you go to our resource here you can see dashboard uh, this is the dashboard that we see after uh, we log in so after this if condition we will give another condition which is else and over here uh, the thing is if the user type is not zero it means if the user type is on uh, here you can see our user type is zero and on so if the user type is not zero it means the user type is on if the user type is on then it will return a different view so it will say return then let's return view we'll say let's say admin dot home so let me just save it now control s and one more thing that is we are using auth and also the user table so we also need to mention them at the top so let me just uh, copy this use illuminate uh, http slash request so we are going to say use illuminate backslash we are going to say support then backslash it will be facets then backslash it will be auth and after this we also need to mention the table name which is uh, the user table which is so we will say app then backslash we will say models backslash user if you go to our uh, app then you can see inside app we have models and here you can see user.php which we just mentioned over here so let's save it now and let's go back to our browser and let me just log out from here now admin part isn't complete now i just i'm just trying to show you that uh, user logging is working so if you click login and if you give the user email and the password and if you click login so here you can see uh, in the url uh, before it was redirect now it is home 
so this is the user dashboard we'll make some changes over here but first uh, let's create our admin dashboard but before that i also like to mention uh, some more thing about this dashboard now this dashboard is actually uh, if you go to our views and inside views you can see dashboard.blade.php everything is actually coming from here so uh, actually these two line this x app layout and this closing is the most important line uh, let me just remove this one and if you just save it and if you just refresh here you can see we have the dashboard and the uh, logout option over here so i'm just showing you this because uh, after a few minutes i will be working with this one so now let's just create a admin home so let's go to our home controller.php and here you can see you are returning a view admin.home now we do not have this admin.home so first of all we will go to our uh, resource then views just uh, right click on it and then uh, we will create a folder click new folder and we will say here admin and press enter and inside this admin folder we are going to right click and click new file and we are going to say home dot blade.php and control s then save and over here uh, i'm just going to copy some code from the let's say uh, from the dashboard.blade.php here you can see dashboard.blade.php i'm just going to copy this two line control c and control v now inside this we are just going to mention a uh, h on tag let's say inside this uh, we'll say this is admin dashboard and let me just uh, and let me just save it now and let's uh, let me just log out from here and uh, let's click login again and if we say admin at right of gmail.com and if we give the password and click login you can see over here a message called this is the admin dashboard now now here you can see in the background uh, the color is different and in the future for making this tutorial we also don't need this logo and this dashboard right hand over here so we are going to remove it uh, for it we need to go to our code and then we have to go to our navigation menu.blade.php and uh, here you can see that uh, here you can see a navigation link over here so let me just remove this and if you go up you can see a logo written over here so let me also remove this so if we save it now and if we refresh uh, these two thing will be gone so let's refresh so as you can see there is no navigation and the logo over here now let's remove this color so for remove this color we need to go to layouts then we have to go to app.blade.php and if you go down you can see that there is a at line 24 there is a class mentioned over here mean is bg gray 100 so if you just remove this class and save it and if we refresh the color will be gone on the back from the background so this was all now let me just uh, make another changes uh, now if you go to our home uh, home controller.php here you can see you are retaining the dashboard view for user let me just do it the same way that we did for the admin we'll say instead of dashboard we'll say uh, user dot home so let's go to our views and inside the views we are going to create another folder we'll say user and press enter and inside user let's again right click then click new file we are going to say home dot plate dot php and save it control s and save now let me just uh, copy the code code from the admin home so let me just copy this control c and i'll paste over here and we'll say here user home so let's save it now and let's check if it's working or not so let's log out and let's log in now we'll log in to user dashboard so let's go to user give the password login so here you can see currently we are in user dashboard so in the next tutorial i am going to add a template in our user dashboard so the next tutorial will be actually really easy compared to this one and if you face any problem then let me know in the comment section i will surely reply you back and i will try to give you a solution uh, and also let me uh, know uh, how you feel about this tutorial and thank you very much for watching Stay tuned, stay healthy.